In this video number 10, we will do the load combinations in frame CE. So before we define the load combination, so this is located here in the loads or load tab, then create. So this is all load case. So we will do the load combinations. Or in frame CE, there is a add load case here and we have here primary and second uh, I mean primary is for load case if we have another load case and the combination is for the load combinations okay so this is it for the gravity we have let's say we have U uh, let's say you have U um, stands for ultimate U uh, let's say U graph one this is the one uh, one point two uh, I mean this is one point four dead load and superimpose dead load and then I will just click add so before we have this uh, I will just click exit to explain the load combination so we have the excel here for the ultimate so I will just I will say I have here you grab one and this is 1.4 I will just rename that one you grab two so this is for the gravity this this will dominate for the gravity load combinations so 1.2 and 1.6 line then we have here um, we have here special seismic load combinations this one so this is the um, from the NDCP this is this is the ultimate load combination so we are dealing with this uh, U1 or U gravity 1 and for the U gravity 2 is this one and for the special seismic load combinations we will use this uh, we will have uh, I mean we will add the, add, uh, the vertical effect of the earthquake for the special load combination so we have 1.2 dead and this is plus 0.5 say I think so I will just um, go back to this one and the other load combinations for the ultimate with wind is this two so 0.9 dead plus 1.0 wind plus 1.6 H uh, I mean this is not included this is with earthquake so for the wind this load combinations so this is the wind so in this case we will just how uh, we can do all of this but I will just show how to do the how to input and also this this value are or this factors are uh, from the ultimate load combinations from the NDCP okay so this is with wind okay this is the point nine plus wind and also this is the other load combo with wind wind save okay. save so for the earthquake combination so this is our load combo so I am repairing with this vertical effect for the 
special size my cloud combinations this is the 0.5 ca id this is to be added and to be deducted to the dead load so in this case we have here 1.2 dead plus 0.5 ca id C A I times D. So plus F one L plus earthquake. So this in this case this is zero point four and this is one point zero. So this is uh D or this is for the dead load. So we'll have here 0.5 times 0.4 times 1 that is equivalent to 2.2 2. and this equation will become 1.4 dead load considering the vertical effect this one okay so we have this CA so this is the CA so this is 0.4 from the soil report or or from the seismic parameters then we have this orthogonal uh, load combo so this is the 1.2 plus 0.5 CAID this one this is the 0.5 CAID it will be added to the 1.2 factor and you have your EX 100% and 30% uh, along uh, perpendicular of the x at x direction that is ez there or that is z in z direction so we have here this value or i i am calling this as upper limit for the earthquake and that's because uh the dead load is um uh, with additional vertical effect and for the other load combinations this is 0.9 minus 0.5 say id so it will give you 0.7 but in this case this is just dead load and plus earthquake in the other load combinations this is uh, dead load plus live load plus earthquake so that is that's the difference of the of the special seismic load combo so this load combinations the dead load plus live load plus earthquake is technically it's governing at the center the columns the dominant for the columns at the center of the building and this one is dominant at the perimeter because it doesn't have any counter load so we have a small dead load a smaller dead load and lateral and also uh, this is governing at the rooftop because there's no uh, restraint or that, that is free or okay so we will just input this one and also we will input the drift x and drift y load combo so for the drift x seismic so 1.4 dead so i am referring here at 1.2 plus 0.5 say id or it it can be the strength uh, load combo the, the the seismic trip is for the strength load combinations for the seismic so we are dealing with the crack section here so in other tutorial i am doing 1.2 so it can be 1.2 dead or this one so we have here so i just adapted it to the special seismic load combo but in the code this is for ultimate for the seismic we we are dealing with the ultimate load combinations for earthquake or for seismic trip but for the wind we are dealing with a service load combo so this is for the uh, wind okay so what to apply is this so i will just add here the uh, 
so we have here also a service load combo so here is the drift wind okay so i will input it to the i will input it to the frame ce so dead load is dl reducible light so we don't we don't in, uh, we don't define the live load because we are just dealing with a two story in residential building so there's no uh, higher loads in this case so i will just set it aside and uh, define in frame c so in this case i will just define this u4 u8 u12 and u16 so the other we, we can uh, define it all of this load combo but it will take some time for the running analysis so i will just in my design here in frame c i'm just uh, selecting the most dominant load combinations so what i mean is in this case or in this uh, i can select this one and also i can select this i can select this one so i have two here so i will not input it all because uh, it will take some time so you can try it to input all and i will just uh, input my uh, desired load combinations then let's say i will just select this one and two and also this one so the result or the forces is Is almost the same or in other cases because in our geometry in other models so we, we cannot conclude that uh, I will uh, that but for now I will just select let's say uh, this one u4 u8 u12 u16 and for the wind load this two so you can do it by your own to complete all of this load combination so what i am trying to say is i will just uh, define how to define this load com combination and also additional information i didn't i did not uh, include here the exemption so there's a, there's an exemption in the code when to when to use the orthogonal or srss method so there is also a provision that you can alter or you can you can uh, remove this 30 percent or the orthogonal there is a provision in the code so i will not include it here so there is a it's it, it depends on the reaction of the column due to lateral forces so we'll just define the load combinations so for this one i will just say create so add load case so let's say i have here u grab uh, space 2 so this is 1.2 1.2 this is 1.6 so i will just click add and this is the load combinations created next i will just add the load combo combinations and i will just say this is u4 and i have here 1.4 1.4 so i am just um looking at the excel reducible live is 0 0.5 ex is 1 ez is 0.3 so i will just click add so this is the u4 and i will just add another combination let's say i have u8 1.4 1. 1.4 and this is 0 0.5 and this is u8 and this value is 0 0.3 and this value is 1 next i will add the, another load combo let's say u12 u12 
So this is 0 0.7, 0 0.7, and the earthquake is 1 and 0 0.3. Okay, then I'll just click add and I'll just uh, input U16. This is 0 0.7, 0 0.7. This is 0 0.3. This is 1. Let's click add. So I have your U4, U8, U12, U16. So I will input the load combinations for win. So I will just say add combinations. So that is, let's say, U22 and U23. So U22, this is 0 0.9. 0 0.9 and the wind x is 1 I'll just click add and for the U23 0 0.9 0 0.9 then this is 1 I'll just click add and I will just uh, add the seismic drift x or seismic drift x so this value is 1.4 1.4 and this is 0 0.5 and I will just uh, input 1 here and for Add load case again so seismic drift z direction this is 1.4 1.4 0 0.5 and this is 1 click add also for, for the wind drift so wind drift x so we have here the load combinations at service. So we have dead load 1 and this DL1. And the light 0.5 and WX is 1. 1, 1, 0 0.5 and this is 1. So we just copy this. combo trip say direction 1 1 0 0.5 and this is 1 but okay so this is it and we will run the analysis after running the, uh, I mean we have another video so we will do the video for running the analysis and checking the seismic drift and wind drift okay so i will just stop the video here and proceed to another picture